So what do you do when you're testing for common method bias and you get an iteration limit reached error? For example, if I run this one, proceed, you can see iteration limit reached. That means you can't really rely on the, um, on the results. Well, what I would do is I'd go look at the notes for the model and see if there are negative error variances. It uh, looks like there are. Uh, E3 to E4 is the big one, so since that's a between error, let's go look at covariances. And you can see the standard error for E3 to E4 is huge. Whoa. It's, uh, it's above 1, which is ridiculous. So the first thing I'm going to do is just remove that um, covariance arrow between E3 and E4. See if that fixes things. And run it. Proceed. Now the iteration limit was still reached. Now we can sort of and bypass this by going to the output uh, or going to the analysis properties, going to the numerical tab and changing this iteration limit to like 500 or something. It'll run, you'll see. Let's see, run and, oh, no, still maxed out. But let's say uh, it did run. We'd probably end up with some weird um, results. For example, let me stick this back in and run it. So pretend that was the first step. Just raise the iteration limit. Looks like we did reach minimization or convergence. Um, but let's see what our results are. Really weird. Look at this. Um, these are the standardized estimates. And we've got something like 1.4, 2.36, well above the 1.0 threshold. So just raising the iteration limit is not going to fix it usually. Um, there's, a, there's another underlying problem. So let's go back to where we were. Get rid of that. Okay. Let's see. We need to run this again. Proceed. Look at our output. E3. E3 is causing us a problem. What is E3? E3 belongs to ERPS. All right. Let's go look at those. Uh, it looks like all the trouble's up here, right? In assimilation. Let's go look at the assimilation estimates. Look at this, huge estimates, huge standard errors, and let's see in the standardized if they're all moving together. Aha, ERPR is not moving with the other three. This tells me that it's having trouble converging because it's having, uh, it, because it's trying to account for different direction of movement in the variance. So my next step would be either to uh, fix the error term for ERPS, which was negative, right there, E3, or go fix, um, or just go remove ERPR, since it's not moving in the same direction. Let's try removing ERPR. Boom. Now, since I removed it, um, I need to create a constraint on one of the other regression weights because the regression weight constraint was with ERPR. So close that, run it, proceed. Ooh, look at that, we converged in 15. That's awesome. Now let's look at the results. Hopefully they're good. Looking good. Hey, we fixed it. Cool. If that hadn't fixed it, well, I would have just kept going back to the notes for the model, see if there was a negative error and going to um, these standard errors and trying to find if there were any standard errors above one and then addressing it that way. Hope that helps.